is Sharon Graff, and I'm the owner of The Modern Skein, which is a yarn store here in Montgomery County. I'm so glad you joined us on this podcast. I believe we're at episode either 39 or 40. I always lose track, especially since I didn't podcast last week. My husband and I were on our third anniversary trip. Uh, We just kept it real low-key this year and just went to Galveston Island and had fun being a tourist and seeing the sights and just having a lot of fun eating lots of really yummy food and I got a little bit of knitting in but I got caught up on reading which was really nice Uh, finished a couple books that I had partly started but never had time to finish so got those finished and got a little bit of knitting done I cast on a new project for the trip So I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to dive straight in because I don't have any finished objects to show you on the podcast this week. Hopefully next week. Fingers crossed. But then we're going to dive into everything that came into the shop because we had a lot of stuff for local yarn store day, and then it seemed like everyone decided... The yarn was ready, and we got tons of new yarn the week I was gone. It's amazing. So, buckle up for sure. Grab you a beverage to drink. I forgot mine. But, I don't have room to put it on this table anyway. It's literally covered in yarn. And, I had someone yesterday, where are you going to put this, all this yarn? It's like, question we're gonna find a space I'm gonna be creative be creative or just come by it and then I don't have to worry about it how's that okay so let's get started my project that I cast on is uh, out of suburban stitcher yarn and the colorway is called La Boheme it's the same colorway on both the uh, sock and the mohair called La Boheme. Very pretty cream with green and navy and just a little bit of pinky peach speckles. And the green and navy just kind of melt into the mohair a little more, giving it that darker hue. Which results in this. So pretty. So this is the beginnings, you can see there, the very small beginnings of the Like a Cloud cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. It's a very simple construction garment. You, This is the back piece that you start off with, then you go pick up stitches from the ca- provision, or not provisional, from the cast on edge, and you knit down to a certain length. I haven't quite got there yet. I don't think. No. Basically you knit down till it meets. Do the same for the other side and then join and keep knitting. Um, and then you'll do, so it's a drop sleeve. Drop sleeve design. This is going to be such a nice I have the hiccups. Excuse me. Such a nice spring. I think I'm a little late. <laughs> but spring summer cardigan for when you just need a little extra something and you want something I can't talk it's a nice cardigan how's that and it's very simple mindless easy to remember pattern it's super easy you do not have to strand mohair with it you could just do fingering weight yarn the a pattern was originally calling for Seema and, uh, I just lost her name, the two Shibui yarns, Seema and Kid Silk, it's not Kid Silk Haze, just Kid Silk, they're mohair. Um, I don't carry it, so I don't know it. That's what the pattern originally called for, so holding that together, the mohair, the Shibui mohair with the Shibui Seema. I am just doing a strand of fingering, plied fingering, and a strand of mohair. I'm getting gauge the same way with the same needle, so it hasn't affected me. 
Some people are concerned because SEMA is a very light fingering that they wouldn't get gauge. Just try your gauge. Uh, adjust your needle size as, as you need. Um, I'm really pleased with the fabric. It's not, it's very soft, but it's not super dense. I don't know if you can, this is the wrong side that you're seeing, but you can kind of see it's not super dense, but it's also not super loose and floppy. So I'm happy with it. I will continue to be knitting on this. Of course, I also have my Vertices Unite that I'm working on and the, what else am I working on? Those two projects are the ones I'm working on, I'll say the most right now. I have other projects in my office at home, but honestly, I've had very little knitting time. We've had our um, little mini getaway and then came back and there was just so much to do at the shop. I don't think on Saturday I knit but a couple stitches. It was just crazy. And I didn't get much knitting done over the weekend because I had stuff to do at the house. I had to catch up on laundry and blah, 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 blah. All that fun stuff. Adulting stuff doesn't leave as much time for knitting unfortunately so hopefully this week I can get a little caught up on knitting <laughs> I don't know when but I will I'll make it work I'll knit faster I know you guys think I'm already knit fast okay there's so many things I don't even know where to start um Okay, some things we got in for local yarn store day that we still have available and I'm going to put up on the website for you guys that are not local. If you missed out or if you didn't have a local yarn store near you or one that participated, um, there, are, there are two things. One has two colorway options. Um, so first off, we have the Dream and Color Yarn. That is the Grand Canyon Centennial which is their limited edition um, local yarn store day shawl, uh, shawl yarn. This is the yarn used in the green version of Casapinka's uh, local yarn store, uh, the new one. Magical something or other. Anyway, it uses one skein of this and then two complementing colors. I do have some more um, complementing colors in Dream and Color. Those also are on the website so you can look around. If you have questions or want to see some combos you can always email or DM us and we will help you pick out some combos. I only have three skeins of this colorway left and when it's gone it's gone. It is the Smushy with Cashmere so it's a 20 uh, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon, and the rest merino. So it's very soft, very luxurious. And you get 400 yards in a skein. So there's three skeins of that. That will be on the website. Um, I don't know when this podcast is going to go up, but it will be up before the end of day on Tuesday. The 7th, I think that's today. Yeah, because yesterday was the 6th. Because Sunday was Cinco de Mayo, which is the 5th. Okay, the other thing we have, like I said, we have two color options. So, it's these kits from Forbidden Fiber Company uh, for the, I don't even know how you say it, Afifa. It's a really pretty shawl. So that's the picture there. It's a chevron shawl, two color. You get, in the kit, you get the two colors. This one is the natural, so it's the original colorway shown here. Oh, it glares. So you get the two skeins of yarn. You can kind of see. That's the dark one. That's the light one. You also get this really cute Poly Studios catch-all. And you get a little sheep marker. And then the little uh, wood doodad. 
and you get the pattern in here as well. So this is the natural, which is the original color. And then this is the, what they're calling the sparkle. So it's more of a blue purple catch all. And then the yarn is on the glitter base. So it has sparkles and it's a teal. And then this teal cream and black. So it's very pretty if you like teal. The only thing different is the colors, the color of your yarn catch-all, or not yarn catch-all, but your little notions catch-all, and then that this is the sparkle base, and this is not. This is just a regular sock base. So I have, I believe, two and three, or three, uh, two and three, just a couple kits left of these. These, because they have the pottery in them, they are a little heavier, and I'm going to pack them up a little bit with a little bit extra padding. Um, so there will be a little extra shipping charge if you purchase this kit, but it should still be around the $10 range for shipping. Okay, um, so those are the items from Local Yarn Store Day that we still have available. Oh no, there's one more. We have Red Stag Fiber did a custom colorway, and I still have the fingering and the DK available. So this is the local yarn store 2019 colorway. It's a beautiful kind of a, a light royal, uh, light navy blue that bleeds all into white. So you get some original light, you get some gray, you get some light kind of cornflower blue. It's stunning. And this is it on the fingering beautiful colorway. Uh, both of the fingering is the classic uh, British blue faced luster BFL 100% and the DK is also 100% BFL. They are both super wash so even though it's BFL you get a slightly rustic wool but you do get the super wash properties which is nice for some people. Um, like I said I have I have I may even have a sweater quantity left of the DK. That would be a stunning weekender or May sweater. That would be gorgeous. Okay. <sighs> then the next thing we got in, and it's already, a lot of it has flown out the door. Um, so if there's something you see that you like, either get into the store quick or order it online because it's I'm out already, I think, of one color, and I'm down to one skein of a couple colors as well. But we got in the less traveled yarn, and it is so pretty. The base that we got from her is um, her 757 sock, which is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon, 463 yards. So we got in, we are gonna be stocking her yarn, um, yay! So, I just wanted to show you the colors that we got in. So we have, this is aubergine, beautiful rich purples. This is roslyn, purple, burgundy brown, really pretty. If you have a skein, I don't have any more here, but if you picked up a skein of um, Red Stag Fiber Karoti. It would pair beautifully with this. Um, okay. Then we have Nightfall, a really nice dark denim brown. This is Pink Adobe. So if you're looking for a nice bright pink, it's not quite as bright as the camera's showing. It's just ever so slightly muted, but still very saturated pink. Then this is Desert Marigold, beautiful color. Just another Manic Mermaid. This is a fun one. You've got your blues, your teals, your greens, and little bits of like a bright magenta e pink purple. And then this is Aurora Borealis, super rich blues and teals, with just hints of pinks, or not really pink, but a purple. 
This is acid wash. Kind of a denim, purple, gray, bleached out look. Then this is fade to black. This is gorgeous. So this has black, gray, white, and then a hint of like a butter yellow, which is just stunning. Then this one is monsoon. It's showing a little purple on here. It's really blue with like bronzy and brown and gold and orange bits. This is um, Venus Flytrap. If you like mints and Kelly Greens and little bits of magenta, this one's perfect. Yes, it's just flying on the floor because there's no room. This is Devil's Bridge. Beautiful, kind of like a dusty um, blush color, peachy kind of color with blues and greens and burgundies all speckled on it. This is Merlot. It is very much a Merlot wine color. It's beautiful. This would make a stunning. There's so many things this could make. This would make a stunning Elton. You could pair it with the. You could actually pair it, I think, really nicely with the, I believe it's Dragonfly by Hedgehog Fibers, which is the black in this combo. This would be beautiful as um, a Kyler shawl. This is just a, that, such a pretty color. Okay, then moving on, we have Seguro, which is very pretty, it's not mint doesn't have that blue undertone to it. I mean, it has a slight blue undertone, but it's not like a mint mint, but it's not an olive green. It's very, very pretty. It's a very soft spring pastel green. And then this is prickly pear. I love this one. So you have a true more mint with bits of green and pinks, blues, browns, just really pretty. Okay. That is all the less traveled yarn. So like I said, that is up on the website already and available to order. And of course it is up on the wall, right? Just past, let's see, what am I pointing at? Yeah, just past life in the long grass, just off screen. Um, then, well, some of the yarn I'm not talking about but I will just say we have a trunk show from six and seven fibers so if you are local you need to come in and take a look they have amazing things we have Harry Potter kits we have Anne of Green Gables kits we just have flat out really nice faded gradient mini skein sets and then we have three different bases from her we have her alfalfa base which is a heavy fingering um, you could probably get away with a sport she may even classify it as a sport. Um, you get 382 yards and it's 801010 merino cashmere nylon, super soft. Then she has a single ply fingering called barley and that is 400 yards, 100% merino. And then Soybean, which is non-superwash merino DK for 245 yards. Super nice. So, we have, I think, 8 or 10 colors. Um, and all the colors come on all the bases. I look really weird. All the colors come on all the bases. So, um, come in and see that. Come in and see the Harry Potter mini skein select collection. Um, the Anne of Green Gables mini skein kit comes with a cowl that you can do with that. Um, yeah, there's some, oh, here's the pattern. 
that doesn't have the name. This is the pattern for the Dream and Color yarn. It's Casapinka. It's her new one for LYS Day 2019. Magical something. I just don't remember what it is. Okay. Then we got more yarn. We got in a batch of Hue Loco. Holla! Okay, so if you don't know what a Hue Loco is, Hue Loco is a indie dyer named Nicole that has been indie dyeing for quite a while. And she is considered to be one of the pioneers in the indie dyeing, home dyeing front, um, in the speckling world, color theory, all that kind of stuff. She is kind of a legend. And she doesn't release a whole lot of wholesale options um, every month, you know, very limited amount because she is just herself. And well, she has some people helping her, but she still does a lot of the stuff on her own has a family and all that fun stuff. Um, but she actually has um, videos on YouTube sharing how to dye your own yarn, how to speckle, how to do semi-solids, all that kind of stuff. So she's been really vocal about sharing uh, how to dye yarn with the rest of the world. And a lot of indie dyers credit Nicole and Hugh Loco for helping them figure out what it was they needed to do, how they could learn how to become an indie dyer, and all that kind of stuff. So several months ago, there was a call put out saying she had a couple spots open, immediately messaged. We started talking back and forth and we are very proud to announce we have a lovely collection from Hue Loco. So what we have from her is a collection of colors on her Phyllis sock, which is a 7525 Merino nylon, perfect for your sock knitting, which you still have to the end of the month to participate in Sock Along. We also have her DK, Merino DK base, which is 100% Merino DK. And we also have a very limited amount of the Backyard Chicken collection, which is a full size skein plus two small coordinating minis. And we have two options in the Color Riot collections, which is a um, collection of mini skeins uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mini skein set. And they are a hundred grams. Hundred gram or twenty gram? These are twenty gram minis. So So you get the equivalent of about six hundred to eight hundred yards. I think um, 200 grams. Oh, here you go. I could just read the thing. Nine hundred yards. Nine hundred yards. Okay, so plenty to do um, a beautiful faded shawl or anything like that. So let me show you. So we have. And there's going to be crinkling on these two. This is the Color Riot kit for Living Coral, which is the Pantone color of the year. This is stunning. It is not too weird in color, uh, coral color. Most of the coral colors I've seen out there, I don't like this, and I don't like pink or red, but this is stunningly beautiful. So you fade from the light to dark, um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. This would make a beautiful cowl or shawl. Just gorgeous. And then we have the, I believe this one she calls her confectionery kit. And so this is beautiful pastels with beautiful speckles. So you go basically purple into the blues, greens, yellows, orange, pale peachy pinks, and into the brighter pink. with all sorts of fun speckles on there. So this is the confectionery kit and the other one is Living Coral. So that's the two Color Riot kit sets we have. Then we have three of the Backyard Collection. This one's called Speckled Sussex. So you have this beautiful skein 
plus then your two coordinating minis. And if you go on her website, you can see a picture of the chicken that inspired this look. This is the speckled Sussex. Then this, this one's beautiful. This is the Partridge Silky Bantam. I love this one. You get two pretty teal mini skeins. And then this one, I only have this one set left because they already flew out the door. This is the Blue Andalusian. So it's mostly gray with bits of blue. And then you get two contrasting minis. Um, I have some people say, what do I do with these? You can do um, socks with contrasting heels, toes, cuffs out of the two different minis. Either do one sock one color, one sock the other, or toes and then heels and then cuffs. Um, you can also just do a really very lightly striped cowl. There's lots of things you can do with it. Um, you can also just set it in your yarn stash, stash and caress it. There's always that. No shame. Okay, and then in a fingering weight yarn from her, we have Snow Melt. Very fun, vibrant color. This is Open Sky, kind of a lavender with speckles of browns and blues and teals. This is Yas Queen. Yas, as in y-a-s not y-e-s so pinks and orange and peach this is candy apple so a uh, kind of a creamy yellow base with mint and green and i would say orangey kind of speckles it's kind of blown out but that's a better picture then this is patina this one's real pretty so you have that gray beige taupe kind of base and then teals and purples and orangey gold colors this is beach glass gray with purples and greens this is that's what she said this one's probably going to micro stripe my guess this is Tortuga, beautiful summer color. I love this one. This is Saltwater. This has more green and a true bluer blue than the um, what was this one called? Candy Apple. There they are next to each other. So on here they don't look as different, but this this is definitely has more blue and larger speckling. This is Cat's Meow. This is Mouthy Goldfish. And this is Oak. This one's a very pale, beautiful color. And then on the DK, and all of the DK, we have sweater quantities available. This is Harbor. Again, another one that will kind of give you some striping or pooling. Beautiful color. This is Rebel Just for Kicks. Bashful, really nice kind of peachy with yellows. This is Finch. This is Sassy Narwhale. She has some really cute names. And this is Robin's Egg. Beautiful color. And I have two more. These are kind of similar, but I'll show you the differences. So this is New York. This is gray with a little bit of black speckling and brown speckling. This is Brooklyn. Brooklyn is more 
brown with gray, a little bit of black and gray speckling and dark brown speckling. This is gray. So very much a gray neutral. This is more of a brown gray neutral. But this is Brooklyn. This is New Yorker. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Oh, yes, I have. There's a whole pile down here. Um, some other things that we got in, not quite as amazing as yarn, but if you were looking for Likey cords, we are restocked in 16 through 32 inch cords. We don't have those super long ones yet, but we at least have those now. And then we got in an order from Atenti Bags. So Atenti Bags, if you're not familiar, Atenti is a company in the California area that um, handcrafts really gorgeous, not just yarn and knitting bags, but purses, clutches, tote bags, small luggage pieces, just gorgeous handcrafted bags and such. So we have a wide variety. Not all of them would necessarily be specifically for knitting, but they might just be an amazing accessory bag for you. So this is the papaya pouch. So inside everything is lined beautifully and it's all of course made in the United States. And typically they get of course tons of the fabrics but once they run out they run out. So um, a lot of them are kind of limited. They don't necessarily get them in again. But this would make a cute summer wristlet or this would easily hold even though it's a flat kind of pouch easily hold a couple socks, a knitting notion, a, you know, a one skein, two skein, easily hold a two skein project with room to put your pattern and things like that. And just have a fun, throw this in your beach bag if you're on vacation, or just keep this in your car to grab knitting to go into the coffee shop, things like that. So this is the papaya one. Then this is a smaller, this one's almost like an elegant evening bag. Um, got some leopard print, beautiful tapestry. This one is definitely more notion size or like if you carry um, a knitter's backpack or the Woolaluya bag and everything but want to throw your phone, keys, wallet or some cash or some Trixie's gift cards or something like that, throw this in there and then throw that in your knitting bag. That's always an option too. These two are just fun. So we have the green furry pouch, and this is faux fur, of course. Um, but this is just a fun little, you could keep notions in here. I would carry this like on vacation as just a fun little throw my phone stuff. It's just super cute. And then this is the mink version. So again, smaller size, but you have this foam ink on the outside. Those are our furry bags this time. Then we have this. This is a beautiful, again, a larger tote, so you could definitely put knitting in this one, but still flat design. Then we got in some more of the very popular, the bucket totes, the hope baskets. These come in different designs, like so. Beautiful summery one. But on the inside, definitely a bucket design. You have, let's see if I can get it to show in here. You have pockets on the inside, so it's gonna be harder to see. You can roll down the edge just want to let it sit you know by your side there you can see there is one one two three four five inside pockets so you can slip knitting needles notions scissors patterns things like that so this is the um, spring summery flower one then we have the classic mama llama this one has pockets on the outside. This is the only one of the Hope Basket designs that does that. And then we have this very beautiful, elegant 
um, metallic upholstery one. Then we have this cute tote, and this one has a little um, snap closure. And it's nice because it's actually not super deep, so it's nice and wide. And you have pockets on your ends, on both ends. And then on the inside, you've got two pockets on one side and a zipper pocket on this side. So this can easily hold, for reference, eight skeins of yarn very comfortably plus other things. So I would say this is definitely a two to four project bag depending on the size of your project. Then we have um, circular needle cases. So fun watermelon print for summer. And then you have these little plastic inserts and you can put all of your needles and separate them by their size. This works for tips and cords as well, not just fixed needles. But it is designed for fixed needles, but again, you can do tips in there as well. So I have the watermelon. We have this beautiful print, kind of a fleur, summery fleur de lis. And then we have the gray llama. And then for some fun bags, I have this. So this is like a hobo bag, really long shoulder drop, but it also has a snap. And it's kind of in the Japanese origami style. So it holds a lot as well. There's no interior pockets, but it holds a lot and makes a very stylish bag to carry some knitting or to use as a purse. Then we have, oh, I always try and get at least one of these in because they're always popular, the little Sherpa caddies. So when you just want to keep all of your notions and things together, this is a perfect little caddy for that. Then, because the Sherpa is always so popular, even though it's not winter yet, think ahead. This is a backpack. So you have zippered pockets on the inside, you have regular just slip-in pockets, and then just like the knitter's backpack, it's just a simple pullover. You have these cute little faux fur pom-poms, and then the outside is all Sherpa. And these are adjustable. This is so cute. Love this. And then for a little smaller size, this is a little llama backpack. So this, the straps, you can either just zip together or you can unzip the strap and do traditional backpack. So you have options there. Then this opens up and you have zippered pouches and you have slip-in pouches as well. So this is a nice little fun, maybe you have a knitter friend that you really really love but you don't want to get her her own yarn. You want to give her a little thoughtful travel gift. And now I think I'm finally finished. Okay. So this has been a little bit longer episode of Amazing New Things. So thanks so much for tuning in. As far as events coming up, we have, um, like I said, our six and seven fiber trunk show is happening all month uh, till the 25th. Then it gets packed up and goes home. Uh, then we have a May 11th, uh, which is a Saturday, beginner knitting class uh, from 10 to noon. So if you're interested in that or have friends that want to learn, uh, that is a, a one of our few Saturday morning classes that we're offering. Uh, in June 21st through the 23rd, Houston Fiber Fest is happening. Uh, we will be exhibiting there, so come by and say hi. It is free to enter the exhibit hall. Uh, the only thing you have to pre-register for is your classes, which a lot of those are full or getting close to being filled. 
Uh, then we also, August 19th through the 25th, is the Texas Yarn Trail, which is the Houston area yarn crawl. Uh, be sure and register for that. It is, um, what's the website? Theyarntrail.bigcartel.com. I was reading my sign that's over here. Um, and uh, you do need to register by July 12th to get your tote bag and to get your uh, punch card and all the fun goodies with that. Um, let's see. Like I said, I think that about covers it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.